Clay, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Um, watching you tonight, I couldn't help but think of a similar situation two years ago where your team was down three games to two and you hit 11 threes in that game. Are some players just born for this situation? How do you stay cool? Um, I don't know if I was born for it, but I definitely worked my butt off to get to this point. Um, and... I mean, I guess you can say I was born for it. I guess, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I guess everything happens for a reason. But, uh, oh, man, that felt good, to be honest. I just wanted to play with as much passion as I could tonight. You probably saw me more vocal than I usually am. Um, when, you know, your back's against the wall, there's one, if your shot's not falling, or you can always control your passion and how hard you play. And usually when I do that, it trickles over every other aspect of my game. Clay and Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. What was the team's demeanor at halftime? Um, and did, I mean, was that passion there in, in the locker room and determination? I mean, you guys are champions. Did that kind of yeah. come out? Absolutely. I think we were down eight at half and uh, okay. 10. We were down 10 at half and um, we felt like we gifted them a great first quarter they had. You know, they were obviously hitting shots, giving credit, but we weren't really forcing them to do anything they weren't comfortable doing. And we knew we were in a good position if we just played the same kind of de defense and with the same effort we did in that second quarter and continue to move the ball and push the pace. Um, so the score was a little misleading in our minds, and we were, we were going to come out firing and just leave it on the line. Clay, Mark Medina Bay Area News Group, on that idea of the third quarter, what's been kind of the theme this year that's allowed you guys to have so much dominance coming out of the second half? Um, man, I think ever uh, for the last few years we've had great third quarters or start of second half, especially in the playoffs. Um, probably just how disappointed we were in our first six minutes of the game. We were disappointed ourselves, and we knew the fans were, and we wanted to give them a good show. And um, we just didn't want to go out like that. You know, we wanted to force Game Seven so badly, and um, but we got to turn the page. It's, it's basketball. Uh, Melissa Roland Bay Area News Group, after a pretty slow start for Steph Curry, what did you think of the way he bought into a shot after that and, and went on to affect mm -hmm. the game? Man, Steph uh, has, you know, he is built for this. Just his uh, ability to forget what's happened in the past, his ability to play through mistakes, um, not worry about the last shot. And when he's aggressive, when he's moving the ball and he's relocating, he's so hard to guard and it makes gives me so much more space, Kevin, everybody on the floor. So we got to come out like that on Monday. We can't, you know, be stagnant on the offensive end. That's when we play into their hands. Hi, Clay. Chad from the World Journal. You know, James Harden played, played pretty good in the first half, but he didn't make any scores in the fourth quarter. What's key to the defense? He's a great player. He is extremely hard to stop one-on-one. -on -one. And we just... You can't get discouraged when he makes those step backs. When we stopped fouling him on threes too, we gave him too many easy buckets at the free throw line. But uh, you cannot, you gotta stay disciplined when guarding him. He's got to work real hard for their team. And we know over 48 minutes, we throw different bodies at him, and we uh, rotate on the backside when he makes that pass out the key. That um, we have confidence in that in that uh, game plan, and that's what we did tonight. And you know, hopefully, make it difficult for him Monday because you know he. Uh, gets a shot off so effortlessly. Clay, Mark Schwartz, ESPN. Steve Kerr had a really interesting take on why you're able to do this under such pressure and desperation. He says it's because you're so comfortable in your own skin. You just want to go out there and hoop. You don't care about judgments or repercussions or any of that. I don't. And um, I was not always like this. You know, I, uh, I used to be so hard on myself, especially early in my career. I remember one time actually losing a game against the Nuggets and just leaving the arena in my uniform. I was so mad. But uh, um, I've learned as I get older, if you play with passion, you play hard, and you leave the game saying, you know, I gave everything I had in, that, in, that, in those 48 minutes, you can live with the result. Clay, Janie McCauley from AP. Uh, once, once you guys were able to kind of get in into your transition game, how much better did the shots look? and? That started with defense. Steve said he expected them to come out hot and loose. Um, did you just have to withstand that? 
Yeah, but we had to adjust some things. Um, can't give them rhythm threes. They thrive off those, and I think they made 11 in the first half. So we, we had to take that away. And um, when we're, we're the, I feel like we're the best team in the world and the most fun team in the world to watch when we're pushing that ball and getting defensive stops, making the simple play. We got too much talent, not just to hit singles like Coach always says, and trust the next man ahead of us because it will end, end up working in our favor most of the time. Last one, Monty. Monty Poole, NBC Sports Bay Eric. Clay, when you have a, a big assignment like you did tonight with, with, with James, does that in some way, some ways help your offense? Because it looks like when you lock in on that end and really focus, sometimes it appears that your offense kind of comes off of that, the, the energy. Oh, absolutely. And um, it's fun to score the ball. It's, it's great to see shots go in. But when you take pride on that defensive end, you make your, the offensive player work for every bucket. When you get stops, that's a, just as good as feeling. So. For me, I love competing on the defensive side of the ball, especially against you know one of the best players in the world, James Harden, and the other guy, Chris Paul, who's an, also a phenomenal player. Um, when you got two matchups like that, it's 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 fun to get up for because they don't come around that often. Great.